Magandang araw. Ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ang kursong PS Chemistry. Kung maririnig natin ang salitang chemistry, maaaring makukulay na chemicals, mga chemical reactions, at chemistry laboratory ang maiisip natin. Di ba? Makulay. Ngunit, kasing kulay nga ba ng mga chemicals ang buhay ng pagiging chemist? Nakapanayam namin ang isang alumni ng CMU LHS na nagtapos sa kursong PS Chemistry. At mamaya, malalaman natin ang mga sagot sa ating mga katanungan. Hi, larawan niyo po ang inyong sarili. If I could describe myself as a chemist, I'm just a typical chemist, you know, curious and hardworking, and also determined to find answers to my questions. Bakit mo piniling tapusin ang kursong BS Chem? I chose I chose to finish it because I really wanted to graduate already. Four years was too much for me as a as a BS chemistry student. So I wanted to graduate. I wanted to end all my agony. But I realized that my personality my personality uh, suited I my core suited my personality because I was inherently curious. And when I was younger, I wanted to be a scientist, but I don't know what kind of scientist I would be. But then, but I wanted to, but I wanted to be in a lab, and then you know those things that you see in cartoons when you were younger. Yes. Wow. I wanted that. So I realized that uh, during the course of my uh, undergraduate, I realized that it was the best. Uh, BS chemistry is the best for me and for my goal. Yeah. BS chemistry is a very Look at the job, and you, if you go to industries, they need they need a BS Chem for their laboratory. And since there are only very few BS Chem, they pay very uh, they, they pay very high for license Chem. Ano ang pinaka mahirap na pagsubok na yun na sa mga pinagsasabi The hardest experience I've had during my undergraduate years was during my fourth year. Before, during, and after the conduct of our study. Before, it was so hard to choose what field I would uh, have my thesis on. And then, during the conduct, I've, we've had so many revisions in our methodology. And after the conduct of our thesis, I've had my first removal. So I felt like I could not graduate, and it, I, it felt like I felt I felt like. I wanted to end my agony, but the world doesn't want me to. <laughs> so, ano naman ang nagtulak sa iyo ng atulagin? So, one thing for sure that strengthened me to finish my course and to finish, finish my study was God. I held on to His promise. He told me that I'm going to graduate on time, and that's what I held on. And then I graduated on time. Ngayon na ikaw ay isa na registered chemist, ano ang iyong nararamdaman? Passing my board exam was the best feeling I've had. Uh, I felt like I could do everything. But then again, after passing your board exam, you have new problems, you have a new season in your life. And having a license as a chemist felt like you can, you can enter into any industry that you want. But one thing's for sure, you need to choose to work on, to work to work for an institution wherein you can practice your passion and achieve your goals in life. Bakit mo pinilit magturo? Well, that's one thing. I was really into research, really. But then I thought to myself, what's the purpose of the new knowledge that I gain if I do not share it with other people? Diba? So, I decided to teach, and especially here in Saemu Lab. When I think of it, I think it was a good choice that I stayed here. Because I wouldn't meet people like you or the or my classmates. I don't think there is an advantage yeah, with respect to other courses or other profession because we are all one body. We work at, we have different functions. So there isn't really uh, an advantage to it because we all have a part in our community, in our society. 
in my OJT, I realized that people do hire for IQ, but they also hire for EQ whether or not you are a people person or a team player because it will really matter in your work in your work so you need to be really good with your peers you know how to deal with uh, pressure with problems with yung mga tinatawag na selos you should know how to deal with that during your high school years right now you need to develop that uh, that skill and that talent you need to you need to take up leadership positions little by little, in maybe in your group activities, in your subjects. Because a good leader is also a good follower, so you may also need to be a good follower to, to develop leadership skills. Ano ano po ba ang mga principles in life? The principles in life, there is only one principle, and that is to love God, and then. Your other principles would then follow. Pwede ka ba magbahagi ng inspirational advice sa mga estudyante kung gusto mo makapagtapos ng ganitong course mo? Yeah. One thing's for sure really, if you want to enter into such a very rigorous course, you must first love it. Because if you love it, you wouldn't think about all the bad experiences that you would experience. So first love what you do and then your determination, your strength would then follow. So first love what you do. Kakayanin niyo talaga because you came here as an you uh, All the pressure and all those things that you experience here are just training ground for you when you go to college. It, it, you are really privileged to be here. So you, you should be thankful, even if at times your teachers are over, over. Then I realized that the training they gave me was just a preparation for me for the real world. Wow! Napakagandang kurso pala ang BS Chemistry. Maraming salamat at sana ito ay nakatulong sa inyo.